So I thought I'd continue the light video. So here's the the light switch on the Toyota Prius Prime. Okay. So you kind of see that little dial right there, and that's where you want it for your uh, um, headlights. And then if you look here, and this is why I didn't know where the hell it was, is kind of down below these two buttons is this auto button right here. See that, how it pushes in? And it does lock in. So I kind of wanted to just show you this uh, before, because we're heading up to the app. Appalachian Trail, woohoo! So let's uh, let's read the book here real quick, so that you know what I'm talking about as far as setting the uh, the features on the on the Toyota Prius Prime. Because my lighting, I got the sunlight today, and that's why we're heading up onto the parkway. So let's talk about number one, auto, the headlights, side marker, parking, LED. Accent if equipped daytime running lights page 356 and so on turn on and off automatically when the power switch is in the on mode Okay, so then of course you got to the side marker parking LED accent if equipped tail license plate instrument panel lights and the daytime running lights now I don't ever run the daytime running lights and to me. It's just well I, Well, I, and I shouldn't say that I will use them if I'm in a big city uh, just to make the car more visible, but most of the time I'm I'm out in the country and stuff I'm more interested in having those uh, high beams cutting on and off automatically uh, So then you got the number three position the headlights and all lights listed above except Daytime running lights turn on and then of course this is a pretty cool setting the day DRL off the daytime running lights turn off So then of course it comes over. This is for Canada so that's for the USA, and that's the only one I'm interested in. Um, so here's here's another page. Let's just just let's just read this real quick. <clears throat> so DRL, <clears throat> the daytime running lights turn off. And then you got the side marker, parking tail, license plate, instrument panel lights, and daytime running lights turn on. And then the headlights and all lights listed above, except daytime running lights turn on. And then of course you got the off position. So uh, I think that kind of finishes off. All right, so I brought the car out into the sunlight just to show you the light settings. Uh, so here you push it forward, that puts you, the headlights into uh, the high beam mode. Okay, you got these settings here, DRL, daytime running lights, and then of course you got off at the bottom. And uh, so of course when I was making my trip, I had it here most of the time at, at the top setting. And then I was constantly doing this because I did not know that if you push this auto button down here, I got it in the sunlight now, so now you can see it better. Uh, I'll look at this video later. So that's uh, that's kind of where you want to leave it if you're if you're driving at night for a long period of time, like I was. Um, <clears throat> now we got a couple other things I just wanted to talk about briefly. Is uh, the first thing I'm going to do. You'll probably notice the sound quality on this video. Is not going all that great <clears throat> so let's let's turn it around now I think there's a setting on the uh, GoPro for uh, back mic and front mic and uh, I'm gonna look into that uh, so right now we're on the front mic probably you notice the sound quality probably sounds pretty good uh, so uh, now when I turn it around probably the sound quality just went bad so uh, you know and that was me recording the book right here, talking about, I was going to have to get into the, uh, um, well, we talked about the automatic high beam, uh, and then, of course, I was going to just talk about the manual brake, uh, which is this page right here, the parking brake. You know, it's just like any other car. You just push it in, and it locks in, and then uh, you pull it back out. So so now we've got some good lighting for you to see the directions. But let's just get the, the daytime running lights. Uh, you can pause it right there and uh, and read those directions for yourself. That's the headlight switch. And then uh, over here, this is the USA settings. You can just pause it right there. And then it talks about the um, uh, daytime running light system right there. Okay, you can pause it right there. Hopefully it's getting on the camera. Um, so that's about it, and, and so I'm learning, you know, I'm learning as I go, and I didn't know, well, I, I do watch my own videos once or twice, and I noticed the sound quality was quite bad, 
Um, but anyway, we're heading up to the Appalachian Trail, and then I, I'm going to play with this GoPro uh, when I get, get up on the parkway and try to figure out how to change the mic from the front to the back, because I think that's the problem. I think that's why my sound quality is not as good as it should be, and uh, like I said, I learn, I'm learning. You're talking to a video idiot. I'm learning as I go. All right, let's let's get on the road, man. I got an early start. Oh, hey, uh, it's, uh, trip plans changed. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know. Because I am going to make a hell of a lot of video on November 2nd, uh, watching the election here in Virginia. I'm going to try to get some people at the polls. I'm, of course, I'm going to be working the polls for the uh, Republicans. And uh, so I'll be sitting there for hours, probably handing out pamphlets and encouraging people to, to vote for Yunkin, uh, the, the Republican candidate. And then, uh, and then I'm going to head over. Uh, my plans are, I mean, we'll have to see how I feel, you know. But my plans are that night to go to the, uh, here in Lynchburg, we have what's called the Cavalier Bar. I don't know if it's open. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that it, that it still exists. And uh, I figured I'd sit in there and watch the results of the election come in and uh, and just keep the pool table for the night. Because uh, I am a pool shark and I, you'll get to see me play in pool. And uh, hopefully some people there will want to get on the, the video and uh, do some things. And, uh, well, we'll see, you know. <clears throat> We'll see how it goes, and uh, so I'm going to have a lot of video I'm going to be throwing up here in the next couple of days, and uh, so I thought I'd just take the third to chill out and uh, pack the car and then get on the road on the fourth, uh, So, because I will uh, be putting up a lot of video, and uh, I don't know, it's only 10 people that watch my channel, but uh, at least you'll, uh, if, you, if you do tune in, you'll be entertained, I think. All right, let's get up and do the Appalachian Trail. Got a bit of a haul to get there. It's not that close to Lynchburg, Virginia, but uh, it's it's not that far away. Nice and chilly right now. I got my cold weather clothes in the car. We are good to go. So I'm here at the Texas Inn in Chile. We call this the tea room here in Lynchburg. <laughs> this has been here for my whole life, 50 years. And I often wonder who inspects this place to see if it's structurally sound because <laughs> it's been here for a gazillion years and then I had to well I'm not sure I can even use the bathroom let's see I guess it requires a key let me go in and get the key but you got to see this bathroom hold on wow I don't know why you need a key they actually fixed up the bathroom <laughs> this used to be a pretty rough looking place that's a fairly decent toilet wow Okay, so uh, I got to get down below and show you the, the tea room from below. We'll get that six. So I was wondering why the bathroom was remodeled because they got a new owner. <laughs> I knew there was no way the old owner would have done anything. But you can see all you got is those concrete pillars that hold up this whole doggone building. And it's been like this for as long as I can remember. I just wonder how structurally sound that is. <laughs> You know, I, mean, I, you know, whatever, I guess uh, somewhere in the city, maybe they inspect it and find out uh, whether it's good to go or not. That's it. That's it for the video. I wanted to finish off this video with the tomahawk chop. My cousin, my cousin used to work for the Braves. And uh, now I haven't been watching any sports. I don't watch NFL. I don't watch... Uh, well, I do watch hockey, uh, but when they went woke, turned me off. But I, uh, I am rooting for the Braves. So, and when Trump was there, giving the tomahawk chop, yeah, baby. This is a southern sword. Imagine that. Peace out. Stay free. Let's do the mantra for the end of the video. Freedom! Oh, freedom! Good to be from the Republican state of Florida where we have no jabs, no masks, no mandates, and we're free to come and do as we please to make a living and enjoy life. Stay free.